So today we come here again to share certain insights that will help you become the best version of you and also prepare for open contact with extraterrestrial species like us. So a lot of you are waking up on this planet and realizing this is not fun. And we are representative of fun. So let us show you some fun ways that you can use to activate that fun aspect in everything that you have lost since your childhood. So Let us begin by helping you connect to the source aspect that you are already. Your source aspect within you is activated when you are connecting and operating from the heart center. When your heart is open and you are open to people, when you are open to love and when you are open to positive possibilities and now no matter what challenge you are going through in your life remember you can always come back to the center point which is your heart and connect to the source within you so how can you do that whenever you are having a challenging perspective or a difficult situation Simply ask yourself, how can I look it at a different way that will make me feel better? Now remember, there is no positive or negative event. It is only your meaning that makes it a positive or a negative experience. Some people can be happy even when there are natural disasters happening because that is how their positive belief system works. And there is nothing wrong in that because they can see the positive in the negative. Similarly, you can also see the negative in all positive situation and that would be depressing, isn't it? So why go there? Let's look at the positive in negative situations. So whatever challenge that you are facing, ask yourself, what will make me grateful about this situation in the future that I cannot perceive right now, that I'm not able to see right now or experience right now? You are the creator of your reality and you decide how your reality is going to be. So why not make it a positive one? Do not discount the negatives. You may see the negativity and acknowledge the negativity. Say, I accept the negative learnings that I'm getting from this situation. And also acknowledge that there are positive learnings and positive happenings from the situations as well. You can use that negative event to create something positive in your life. Only when you see everything as an opportunity to take you further, towards your goal so even when things are not going as for your plan tell yourself that i am the creator of my reality and i'm the one who gives it the meaning and whatever meaning i say i give is what is true so what positive meaning can i give to this event which can allow me to move towards the goal that i was looking for and see what comes up in this manner, if you keep redefining your perspective, no matter what you are going through, you will start noticing that you suddenly don't depend or need anything or anybody else to help you through any situation because you become your own manifester, you become your own guide, you become your own friend, where you are taking care of your emotions in that manner. So, the 
ascension process has already started and if you really wish to meet extraterrestrials like us face to face you have to face your fears you have to let go of your emotional baggages and traumas and limiting beliefs so that you can hold a vibration that is strong enough to face ours because most often what happens with humans is they panic when they see us even if we don't mean any harm and your movies and media hasn't done much justice to who we are either so we come through this channel and other channels to educate you that we are your friend and not your enemies we wouldn't get anything by destroying you i mean if we had to destroy you we would have done that many eons back wouldn't we we wouldn't come through channels like this to spread messages of friendship and love because we do see friendship and love so you will be able to hold on to your vibration and face us without experiencing mortal fear when you do the work on yourself and release your fears and your negative belief systems so that your vibration is high enough to hold on its own in our presence otherwise you will feel as if you are getting absorbed into us and you are losing your identity because that is what happens when there is a huge vibrational difference we operate in non physical reality a non physical reality is much higher in vibration than physical reality that is why it is non physical physical reality is a densification of vibration thus making it slower and much lesser and lower in speed so raising your vibration meaning means lightening up meaning letting go of whatever is weighing you down hence we came forth to share this message to change your perspective about challenging situations because that will help you move towards the realities that you prefer and also help you drop your emotional baggages because you will realize that you have many negative definitions about yourself and your perception about the world that you need to let go when you begin this practice so remember when you are experiencing more of triggering and more of negative emotions coming up more frequently it is a sign from your higher self telling you to drop them because now you are ready to move to the next level so if the number of challenges has gone up in your life then congratulations you are ready to raise your vibration you are ready to drop them your higher self is showing you whatever baggage you are holding on that needs to be dropped you are brought face to face to that so that you can inspect and say hmm i don't need to hold on it anymore and drop them and hence raise the vibration become lighter become more joyful become in light tent and that is how you will be ready to meet us face to face to have a conversation face to face as you would do with any humans so with that we hope that we will be meeting soon and that you are ready for us